Hey, Tim back with you again, guys. Here's something that may be a little bit mystical to a bunch of you, and it was for me for a while. Back in the old days, we used to look at signal-to-noise ratio as the key. We tried to get the hottest amount of signal we could to tape because we were trying to avoid the noise floor, the noise floor of adding up multiple tracks on analog gear with hiss and whatnot. So these days it's not an issue because we have, most of us are recording still onto digital audio workstations. And the reason that's important is because we've got a huge amount of headroom and available recording space because we have no noise floor when we're recording in digital. And what we still find is that, like me, you probably have recorded way too hot some things and gone, ouch, when it comes back to trying to mix something because you've actually clipped the digital signal. And that digital signal is so unforgiving, not in the analog days where a little bit of tape saturation and even amplifier saturation was the nice thing to have, and people are trying to re-emulate that now because of those sounds that we like. But digital is not like that. Hey, you might use that as an effect, but you won't use that in everyday life. Now, I looked around at gain staging, and I've seen a lot of people do it a whole bunch of different ways. Complicated ways to me. Some of them are putting plugins, like gain plugins, before their plugin chain, and then something at the end of their plugin chain. Other people are putting trim plugins right across their tracks, and they're playing it through and going, yeah, that's pretty about right. I'll set them all the same, but I oh, know this one's hotter than the other one. So I'm going to bring this one down and, and this one, oh, this one's actually too low. So I've got to lift it up. And to me, that's just time consuming. You're probably like me and you want to get on with that mixing because that's the fun part of being able to get in there and create and add some kind of vibe to this song that's your flavor. So why spend a whole lot of time doing something that's important when there's something that can do it for you? Look what I came across. I got this plugin the other day, and for the price that it is, I think it's actually a pretty awesome little tool. This is the Hornet VU Meter Mark III. This will do gain staging for you. Hold up. Let's back up the truck. So let's take a look at this project that we've got here and why gain staging is important. The first thing we're going to be looking at is our group buses down here and also our master. Enter the Hornet. So what we want to do guys here is we're going to leave this at our reference point of minus 18 dB full scale. I want to set this to group 1, so that way I can affect every instance of this as long as it's all in group 1 right across my whole project. I'm going to set this to gain because I want to adjust the gain. I'm going to drop this down to minus 12, which was the point that we were looking at before, and our 0 VU is still the same. And let's take a copy of this and we'll add it straight over here to the next one and we'll open that one as well. There we go. Okay, so we're going to set this to auto. Let's play what we've got first at our loudest point so you can see. Let's do it. Can we hold on see these peaks here on this kick out track? This is like way too hot. So let's set this to auto and watch it do its magic. You can imagine the cumulative effect of this right across your whole mix session because it's going to lower all that right down and it's not going to peak more than minus 12, which is what our goal was over here in the first place. Guys, this is going to save so much time. All you have to do is drag this instance right across here. If you've got a fast way of doing that, please let me know in Reaper because that's as long as it takes. What you would do once you've got that set in, put it into auto and play the track from beginning to end and then all the hard work's done for you by the Hornet VU Meter Mark III, piece of cake. And once you stop the playback, that auto feature drops off, so it's not writing gain or anything like that as it goes through. Those values are now set, and you've got tons of headroom to do your mixing, and you're going to end up with a far better result, much easier to work with, because you've done your gain staging right. Hope this video has helped, guys. Please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and by all means, if we've done something worthy of a subscription today, please hit the subscribe button, and you'll be in for more great content. Cheers. Happy mixing.